What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the most insane glitch that has been discovered for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. This is a glitch that is going to allow you to be able to clone or duplicate any item that you want, as well as your legendary Pokemon. So yeah, you heard that right. You're going to be able to get infinite of any item that you want, whether it's Master Balls or Rare Candies, but also multiple legendary Pokemon. So multiple Coridons for Pokemon Scarlet and multiple Miridons for Pokemon Violet. Now, from the time that I'm making this video, the game is on version 1.0.1, .1, but I am 100% sure that Game Freak is definitely going to be patching this at some point. So if you are watching this video too into the future where you're on a later version, it is very possible that this may have already been patched out. And also from the time that I'm making this video, the game has only been out for a couple of days. But in that time, it's also kind of just been crazy with all the glitches and weird things that people have been experiencing. So I'm sure that Game Freak is working on a patch very soon that is going to be coming out to kind of update and fix a lot of these types of things. So you don't really have a lot of time, I would say, until you can kind of really be able to use this before it goes away. But at the end of the video, I will also be showing you guys a trick that you can do to be able to stay on this version for a longer time and turn off auto updates so that you can stay on here and keep doing this exploit even more until you're finally ready to update it. Now, the only requirement that you need to have in order to do this glitch is to have beaten the game because that is going to allow you to be able to use Coridon or Miraidon into your party. But before we do that, the first thing that I want you guys to do is go over into your options here and make sure that the first thing here for sent to boxes is set to manual. This is very important because we want this option to come up every time we catch a Pokemon so that it gives us the option to add that Pokemon to our team and not just instantly go into the boxes. Also, I would also recommend kind of turning off autosave here so that we can actually kind of save right after we start the glitch and then after we end it so that everything is kind of safe and the game doesn't crash or anything. So I would recommend doing that too. But yeah, once that's all kind of done here, what we're going to do is go over to our legendary Pokemon and we're going to press A here and it's going to say, do you want to change Coridon into its battle form? We're going to click yes here. And it's going to say your, if your party's full, it'll say that, you know, you have to send a Pokemon over. I'll just send over my Gardevoir here. It doesn't really matter what you choose. So we'll do that here, and now Coridon is added into my party. Once this happens, what we want to do is now go into our bag and give it the item that you want to duplicate. So you can really give it anything, but I'm going to give it the Master Ball here because that's the one that I think everybody's going to have the most fun with. So we'll give it the Master Ball here. And it says here now it is holding a Master Ball. So once you have Coridon holding a Master Ball, you want to press the plus button to actually go back into its ride form and then press plus back again. Doing this, you're going to see here that Coridon has changed back into its motorcycle form. That's totally fine though, just go back to Coridon, press A again, and then change it back into its battle form. You're going to see that doing this, it's still going to have the Master Ball equipped on it. That's a new change that's been added into this generation so that you don't lose any items. But once you have this, you're pretty much good to go. And what you got to do now is you got to just be able to catch Pokemon. So there's literally a Lechonk right in front of me here, so let me just throw a Pokeball here and go right into battle with this. You can catch Pokemon at any part of the game. I'm literally in the earliest route of the game possible so that the Pokemon here are very easy to catch. Like I'm literally just gonna be able to throw a Pokeball and this should be like a an instant catch pretty much. So you can do this anywhere, but I'd recommend like an easy spot like this so you don't have to worry that much. And you can do this more efficiently. But once you've caught the Pokemon here, what it's going to do now is it's going to give you the option, uh, if you haven't registered it in your Pokedex, it'll talk a little bit about that. But now it's going to say here what you want to do to the Lechonk. And what we want to do here is press the A button to add into our party. Then it's going to say here, please select a Pokemon to swap from your party. You're going to press the A button again. And this is where the most difficult part of this entire process comes. What you want to do here is you want to go over to your legendary Pokemon and what you want to do is you want to press the A button, but also the B button really fast. But you don't want to do it exactly at the same time. It's really kind of hard to get this completely correct the first time. Maybe you guys can do it, but you want to press the A button and then also the B button really fast. Not at the same time. The best way that I've kind of learned to do this is that you want to be able to press the A button with your thumb and then quickly slide over your thumb to the B button and press it as well. If you press the A button too slowly, then it'll just say this. It'll say you can't send Coridon into your boxes. And then if you press only the B button, it'll just say Lechonk has been added into your boxes. So you're going to have to time it correctly. But once you do, you'll see a special message. So if you do this correctly, it's going to say here, Coridon has a Master Ball. What would you like to do? You're going to click here, place the item in your bag. So you do that in your bag. And then it'll say here, Lechonk has been added into your party and Coridon is sent into your boxes. So Coridon is now going to be gone if we look into our party. See, there's no Coridon. It's just completely disappeared, but that's totally fine because all we got to do here is just press the plus button and he's magically back. There he is. But now that we do that, 
when we press the plus button again, you're going to see here that Coridon is once again back in here. But now what we got to do here is add it back into our party. So we're going to go back here and we're going to press the A button. It's going to say here, do you want to change it into its battle form? I'm going to click yes here. And then it's going to say, do you want to send a Pokemon back? I'll go over here to the Lechonk. We'll send the Lechonk back. The Coridon has been added into our party. He's holding a Master Ball again, which is awesome. And now we're going to go over to another Pokemon. So let's go over to this Lechonk again. Going to throw a Pokeball at it. All right, we're going to go into battle with it here. We're going to throw our Pokeball right at it. Should be very easy for us to catch this. I think we got a critical capture too. There we go. Nice. All right, so yeah, pretty much the catching Pokemon. Just make sure you have some easy Pokemon to catch. That makes it the fastest to do this. So once you do that, once again, it's going to give us the option here for what we want to do to this Lechonk. We're going to click here, add to party. Now, once again, you're just going to go back here. You're going to go to your Coridon, and you're going to say here that Coridon has a Master Ball. Place the item in your bag. You do that, and it's going to say here that Lechonk is going to be added into your boxes. So once you do that here, Lechonk is now going to be in our boxes again. We press the plus button. Coridon is now magically back here. We can press plus again. Open up our menus here. We can go here, turn it into its battle form. Your party is full. Going to go over here to the Lechonk. We'll send it back again. And there we go. Now we added Coridon back here. And now let's take away this uh, Master Ball here too. But yeah, now if we take a look in our bag, guys, you guys are going to see right here. If we go to the Master Ball section, we have three Master Balls now. You see, like, it's insane how you can just do this. So every time you do this now, this process, you can just keep cloning whatever item that you want. So now I have three Master Balls. But now here's the really insane part right here. If we go into our boxes, you guys are going to see that we actually have two other Coridons. We have two other legendary Pokemon. Now, these can be used in battle and they're pretty much normal. But the thing here is that it's actually impossible to get rid of these if you try to just release them or try to surprise trade them or something. It's a little bit kind of weird. Now, how can we get rid of these Pokemon? Because obviously, if you keep doing this like infinite times and you have like, you know, 60 Coridons into your boxes, it's you're not going to be able to get rid of them. So how are you able to actually remove them? So if you want to get rid of the Coridon, all you got to do is make sure you have a Pokemon that isn't Coridon into your party because the game will register if only Coridon's there. It'll say that you have no Pokemon that can actually battle. So I just put Skeledurge here. And so if you want to remove the extra Coridons, all you got to do is while you're riding the Coridon, open up the party and then just go over to the Coridon and keep pressing A and it's going to instantly start removing the extras. Now, if you head into the system settings on your Nintendo Switch and then go over to system and scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see this option here that says auto update software. Now, if you press the A button here to turn this off, this is going to make it so that even if a patch does come out for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, your system isn't going to automatically download this and install it because that's usually what it does where even if the system is in sleep mode, if it is connected to the internet, it's just going to be downloading any updates and patches for games by itself. And so this way, even if you have the game on version 1.0.1, .1, if you turn this off, it will still be on this version forever. And even if the patch does come out, you can still keep playing on version 1.0.1 .1 offline. You won't be able to do anything online, but you'll be able to get infinite master balls and keep doing this for as long as you want. And then when you're finally ready, you can press the plus button on the game icon and manually update it yourself. But yeah, that is pretty much how you can clone or duplicate any item as was the legendary Pokemon inside of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If this video helped you guys out, then definitely be sure to click that like button and also be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be having some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos coming very soon. So you definitely don't want to miss out on those. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrow so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.